From so-called proof of the paranormal and crazy criminal activity to the unnecessary attack on Frosty the Snowman, cameras are capturing some pretty wild stuff these days. And since there are more cameras everywhere than ever before, it's that scary to think that somebody would be that intrusive into somebody's home. And so much content being shared online, we get to experience a wide variety of moments we probably weren't meant to see. But that's the fun part. We get an inside look at the forbidden, the funny, and a whole lot of freaky. See for yourself, 15 weird things caught on CCTV and security cameras. <laughs> Mystery Woman CCTV captures what no one was supposed to see, and frankly, it's terrifying. This spider-walking person with a pale white face looks like they're possessed. And it was all captured by security cameras. It brings to mind the ultimate possession movie, The Exorcist. It's the scary story of a teenage girl named Reagan who is believed to be possessed. There's a famous scene where the lead character spider walks just like this down a flight of stairs. The effect was equally as terrifying, but it was a scene that was actually cut out from the original film when it was released in the early 1970s. In 2000, the director put together an extended director's cut of The Exorcist, originally subtitled The Version You've Never Seen. In this cut, Friedkin reinserted the spider walk using CGI to erase the wires, and remastered the footage to fit with the rest of the film. While many fans were aware of the spider walk and it had been included as a deleted scene on a prior DVD release, seeing it cleaned up and put back into the film proper enabled many to see it in a new light, and it's become a favorite sequence of many since. But this is not a movie, it's the last thing you would want to see walking down a dark alley. Sinkhole Car Caught on CCTV camera, watch this shocking footage from Florida of a car being swallowed up by a sinkhole. Thankfully, no one was inside the car, but it's pretty scary to think that sinkholes are actually quite common in some parts of the world, and sinkholes are a common feature in Florida's limestone-rich bedrock, as groundwater easily dissolves the calcium carbonate into solutions, turning the ground into a slushy mix that washes out under the structures built on top of it, or this car, for example. But if you know what to look for, you can avoid situations like this. If a sinkhole is in the process of forming, the structures on top of it can give a hint to its existence. For example, slumping or sagging fence posts and trees that start to lean. More subtle signs can include doors and windows that don't close properly. Heavy rains can trigger the collapse of a sinkhole that had been slowly forming earlier. When rainfall collects in an area where water previously did not collect, that is another sign that the land is subsiding. And with the volatile Florida weather, it's bad enough that sinkholes could be forming under your feet in normal rains. Bring a hurricane to the region, and it could feel like not only the sky is falling, but the ground is falling as well. Neighbor in the Attic In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, a man was caught sneaking into his neighbor's attic, and it was all caught on camera. Surveillance video shows him removing a false wall that he engineered, climbing onto the ceiling above the baby's crib, and he lies on some planks that he puts there. This guy knew what he was doing. In the footage, a man appearing to be the neighbor enters the attic with just a drill and a light. He then lies on top of a vent that is directly above the baby's crib and the homeowner's bed. The man looks to drill a hole near the vent and observes the scene for about half an hour. He then leaves, returning to his own property. The resident said that they often heard someone above the bedroom and even saw flashlights coming down through his vents. The homeowner also saw noticeable drill holes in the common brick wall that he shares with Havria. When he questioned the 69-year-old man, Havria said that he had been doing construction. Police questioned the neighbor about the activity in the footage, to which he said he couldn't get into the space without a ladder, and denied going onto the property. But the security footage is all the proof anyone would need. This peeping Tom was caught red-handed. What an invasion of privacy. Grand Theft Auto Check out this greedy gang stealing eight cars in under two minutes. Captured in Tampa, Florida, it appears they descend en masse on a car dealership before stealing a fleet of vehicles in this CCTV footage. Surveillance video from the business shows one of the suspects smashing the front window of the main building, removing the window pane, and entering the building with another suspect. While inside the office, they located a box containing all the keys for the vehicles on the lot. Waiting in the forecourt are several others, who press the remote unlock buttons on the keys, revealing which cars they are for. 
These are some pretty smooth criminals. In all, the thieves made off with 8 vehicles and damaged 14 others. During this time, another vehicle, which brought most of the suspects there, is seen circling the block waiting for the right time to ram the gate. Once all suspects were each in their own stolen vehicle, and they had the vehicles lined up to exit the gate, the stolen minivan rammed the gate allowing all the suspects to flee the scene. Based on information gathered during the investigation, the suspects were possibly linked to a crime group based out of the Orlando area. Renoke Lights the video was captured overnight on a Virginia couple's surveillance camera. They received an alert from their security system that motion was detected. What can be seen in two separate video clips is very curious. The owner who wanted to remain anonymous said she was baffled by what's seen on video moving across her porch. An orb of light that's glowing. And of course, it had people on social media speculating all kinds of things. It was suggested that it might be ball lighting a rare and unexplained phenomenon described as luminescent spherical objects that vary from pea size to several feet in diameter. While some said it was a bird, others said it looks like bugs. And then there's the possibility that it could be supernatural. Could the security cameras have captured ghosts? The homeowner who pointed out that she lives near a graveyard said what can be seen looks very different from what bugs look like when they show up on video. This part of Virginia is known to be haunted. Founded in present-day North Carolina in 1585 by Sir Walter Raleigh, 117 inhabitants vanished just two years later, and their fate remains unknown to this day. Could this be linked? As for what really happened in this homeowner's security footage, the orbs remain a mystery. Dumpling Thieves The owner of a Chinese restaurant in Manhattan posted a video showing two women breaking into the kitchen and trying, but failing, to whip up dumplings. The owner posted the video on social media after he said he walked into the restaurant and sent something was amiss. He noticed a bun floating in water and cut vegetables outside the refrigerator. And naturally, he was appalled when he watched the surveillance video from the night before. The video looks like something out of a buddy comedy. There was a power outage at the time, so the door's electronic lock was not working. And the two women stumble into the kitchen at about 12.30 a.m. One yells, hello. The other inquires, are we trespassing? They make their way inside and one walks into the chef station. She assures the other that she once worked in the food industry. Her post is behind the fryer. The other agrees to stand guard. After seeing the footage for himself, the restaurant owner admitted that he was a little amused watching one unsuccessfully trying to fry the food, saying, it's somewhat entertaining. The alleged midnight snack ended abruptly when they were startled by a strange noise and decided that the dumplings could wait. Desk Chair Disco It might be a short clip, but these desk chairs appear to move on their own. And for many folks who've seen this video, it's proof that ghosts are real and they can move stuff. Have you ever had an object disappear and then reappear in an unusual location? Have you experienced photographs and artwork tilted on walls, knocked over on tabletops, or even fallen off the wall? As strange as it may seem, beings in spirit or ghosts have the ability to move and manipulate objects on Earth, some people believe. Most of the time, the objects are returned around the same location from which they were borrowed, or they are placed in our path in an extraordinary way. So how do ghosts do it? Everything in existence is made of energy. The ability to move and manipulate objects on Earth from another dimension is performed through the altering of energy, according to paranormal experts. A relatable way of thinking of this is from the movie Ghost, in which Patrick Swayze's ghost pushes an object using an intense concentration of his energies. It is not quite like that for ghosts, but acts as an example of how they can move objects. Let's hope this office haunting is limited to disco dancing office chairs. Clown Stalkers Officers in Wisconsin were dispatched in the early morning hours recently for a report of people wearing clown masks chasing after vehicles. They located two men who were involved in the incident. They also found a 26-year-old woman in a vehicle nearby who had been driving the two men around in the neighborhood and they released cruiser camera footage showing officers stopping the men dressed in clown costumes on Appleton Road. Why are they clowning around like this? Who knows? It's what we're not seeing in this footage that's the concerning part. Officials say during the course of their investigation, it was determined that one of the men and the women involved had left their four-year-old child at home unattended for a minimum of a few hours while they were participating in the clown prank. 
Not exactly great parents, are they? As a result, the child was placed by the Department of Health Human Services into protective care, and the parents were referred to court on charges of child neglect. The other clown on the scene was not charged. This was definitely not your average night on the job for these officers. And once these clowns face a judge, they will learn that pranks like this are no laughing matter, especially when it involves putting a child in danger. Television Head Check it out! In the video shared by residents of Henrico County in Virginia, a person can be seen wearing an old-school television on his head and a jumpsuit strolling up to homes. Then he simply sets the TV down and walks away. So residents woke up to find vintage televisions had been left outside their homes. And after reviewing the doorbell surveillance footage, these confused Virginians could see the bizarre drop-offs for themselves, as the disguised prankster did his thing. Believe it or not, they left the vintage TVs at more than 50 homes. Authorities think it's a harmless prank, not specifically targeting anyone. According to police, the only crime old TV had committed was illegal dumping. Officers and county workers spent time collecting the TV sets and clearing off residents' front porches. At most, this seems to be more of an inconvenience to the community. Neighbors, however, think the practical joke is someone having a bit of fun. And wouldn't you know, this isn't the first time old TV sets have been dropped off at residents' homes here. The same prank happened in a different neighborhood too. What's the point? Who knows? Just a bit of harmless fun for someone with a lot of time on their hands and access to a lot of old TVs. Hot Air Balloon Lands Talk about a close call. This hot air balloon landing is remarkably close to an electric power line, and the pilot manages to narrowly escape getting zapped. This homeowner was down the block when his son heard a hot air balloon making an unexpected landing outside their house. He rushed home to catch a touchdown in his neighbor's yard. He also had video of the entire spectacle from beginning to end, thanks to his doorbell cam saying, It was amazing to see on camera, and it was amazing to see it live. Hot air balloons are pretty cool. It was invented in 1783. The balloon fuel for the fire was a combination of straw and wool. The first passengers to fly in a hot air balloon were a rooster, a duck, and a sheep. The hot air balloon lifted them over 1,000 feet and slowly descended to the ground. The first people to fly in a balloon spent 25 minutes in the sky in the hot air balloon and crossed over Paris. Modern-day hot air ballooning using a controlled propane burner and nylon fabric was invented in 1961. As for America's deadliest hot air balloon crash, the incident happened just 40 minutes south of Austin in Lockhart, Texas on the 30th of July 2016, killing 16 people. It was the deadliest commercial balloon crash in US history. Bad Batman Caught on CCTV cameras, a caped villain in Australia was filmed attempting to steal cash machines from several businesses. The man who can be seen wielding a hunting knife and rifle in the footage wore a black cape with a mask during break-ins. The caped crusader was first caught on camera after he forced entry through the front door of a country club. CCTV footage depicts the man attempting to steal a machine from the reception area of the business, before fleeing the location without the machine. Detectives said that the man spent almost an hour in the venue, trying to steal cash from what was actually a machine that members used to sign into the club. He was next captured on camera with his face covered two weeks later, and that CCTV footage depicts the man attempting to open the ATM before giving up. The man caused significant damage to the machine but left empty-handed before the arrival of staff. The following Saturday, a cleaner at the hotel was also captured and bound at knife point by a man wearing a black cape. Armed with a rifle, the man ordered the hotel's cleaner into a separate room, before attempting to open an ATM and poker machines. The man made off with a small amount of money from behind the bar before escaping. Stolen Shark this male suspect in Texas reached into a shark tank in the San Antonio Aquarium and removed a greyhorn shark from an exhibit. It's absolutely insane, said the aquarium owner. They grabbed the shark right out of the tank. As you can see, it was all captured on security cam. The female greyhorn shark, known as Miss Helen, was grabbed from the open pool by two men and a woman, then wrapped in a wet blanket. Apparently, the suspects entered near the aquarium's gift shop and walked towards the exhibits near the front entrance. They waited for an employee to turn his back and then grab the shark with a net they brought. After grabbing the shark, the suspects transport the shark in a stroller, like a newborn baby. You can see the suspects bundling the two-foot shark still dripping with water into a baby stroller, before pushing it to a pickup truck and driving off from the aquarium. 
However, the shark was recovered and seemed to be unharmed. A horn shark is a small species of shark that belongs to the bullhead shark family. It can be found in the warm coastal waters of the Northeast Pacific, usually near the continental shelves. And these shark thieves are clearly fans. Snowman Attack A home surveillance camera captured this Christmas crime which occurred at approximately 11.22 p.m. One night in St. Louis, Missouri, Frosty the Inflatable Snowman gets assaulted by a real-life Grinch. Bah humbug! Frosty was stabbed once in the right side of his abdomen in a mob hit style assault, and the whole ordeal took just seconds. Though most people think it was probably just a couple of Christmas pranksters, a driver and a man wielding a knife. The owner of the home told the press how it all went down. We could see a pickup truck come down the street, down the alley here. A passenger jumped out, you can see him run up to the snowman here and shank it, try to cut the rope, and then he went back to the truck and took off. The Grinch may not have stolen Christmas this year, but he stabbed Frosty the Snowman. You can try, but you can't kill the spirit of Christmas. The owner kept his spirits up and set up a comical fundraising page to help pay for Frosty's repairs. He teamed up with a charity to raise money for kids in need. The owner doesn't think the slasher should face criminal charges, but believes those responsible should take a lesson from the positive way the prank turned out. Antique Ghost a creepy video inside an antique shop shows what many people believe shows some pretty serious paranormal goings on. The store is dubbed Britain's most haunted shop. The owner says that peculiar things have just kept happening since he opened it up in 2014. The chilling CCTV footage shows items falling off the shelves without any reason whatsoever. In one clip, a mysterious mist is even seen hovering through the air at night time when the shop was locked up and empty. The shop is inside a building that dates back to the 19th century, and it once used to be home to a funeral parlor. The owner said that the first time he noticed something out of the ordinary was before the shop was officially opened, when an electrician was doing wiring work. He says, The guy rang me up and said there was smashed glass all over the floor. Daniel scoured his cameras for signs of a break-in or a projectile being thrown, but couldn't find anything. Nobody could explain how it had got there, so he went in and had a look at the CCTV. That's when he saw the cabinet explode. Since then, dozens more strange things have happened. So a medium heard about the shop on social media and got in touch with the owner, and according to them, he uncovered the spirits of two small children inside the store. Palace Phantom in October 2003, CCTV captured the image of a ghostly figure apparently flinging open a fire door in the palace called Hampton Court. This short film was taken from CCTV cameras and was shown around the world. What do you think it is? A fluke or a spook? Had this been in the age of social media, then the image would have certainly gone viral. Back in the day, it attracted international media attention. No living soul has ever come forward to admit that this was their prank. Security staff remains baffled. Henry VIII's fifth wife, Catherine Howard, was beheaded here in 1542, aged 19, for adultery and treason. It is claimed that after she was arrested at Hampton Court, the terrified teenager broke free of her guards. She ran along what is now called the Haunted Gallery, screaming out to the king for mercy. Guards dragged her away and she never saw Henry again. It is said that her anguished ghost now repeats this heartbreaking journey screaming through eternity. As you might expect, believers reported more spooky sensations in the palace, specifically the haunted gallery and the Georgian rooms. Whether or not they knew about the legends, this suggests something is happening, but exactly what isn't clear. It doesn't get much weirder than this collection of security camera and CCTV captures, and we wouldn't have it any other way. So like and subscribe since you made it this far. There's more weirdness coming right up.